For all the latest updates, subscribe to News9. Hello and you're watching News9 Digital with me, Deepak. Like we told you in the previous episode that with each passing day, more and more details of COVID-19 are emerging, which are literally baffling the scientists around the world. So now you might be wondering what it is today. Well, you wouldn't believe it if I told you that a study states that there are different flavors of COVID-19. Just like we've seen different types of cancer in humans, scientists claim that there are different types or flavors, like they would like to call it, of COVID-19. So, according to the new data that may someday allow coronavirus treatments to be targeted at the specific molecular changes making a person sick, to learn more about why only some coronavirus patients become severely ill, researchers studied patient's blood transcriptome the complete set of genes that are activated in immune cells in the blood so they found at least five types of immune response against the coronavirus which not just includes mild and severe but others as well so let us now go across to uh, an epidemiologist and ask him if there are different types of covid 19 immune responses like we have different types of cancers yes different types of immune response in the sense that some of them are asymptomatics meaning they won't get the infection or sorry not infection they don't get the symptoms at all pre-symptomatic meaning those people in due course of their illness or in due course of them being positive for covid develop symptoms those who develop symptoms which are very mild like some sort of a fever body ache or very mild cold along with fever moderate some who, who might have some kind of breathlessness when they move around or severe when they have resting breathlessness severe fever and uh, some kind of cough cold etc so there are different immune responses the immune responses is indicated in terms of them developing symptoms or not developing symptoms developing symptoms of different grades in terms of severity like mild moderate severe well the experts believe that these conditions could help in developing tailor-made therapies so doctor again could you tell us how can tailor-made therapies help COVID-19 patients? See, already the therapies are actually categorized into category A, category B and category C treatment. And these are actually based on the immune response or the kind of symptoms the individual develop and also certain signs. For example, somebody who is having no symptoms but they are positive for COVID-19 and those who are having very mild or mild symptoms are given category A treatment and for them the temperature needs to be of low grade and pulse oximeter reading needs to be more than 94% oxygen saturation. Category B treatment is for those who are having moderate symptoms or the immune response is depicted as moderate symptoms, those people might need oxygen. So, in a way, in summary, therapies are already, the current protocols are already based on the different immune responses which the body of a particular individual shows and the kind of symptoms or signs which come up. So there is already these tailor-made therapies. Well, that was the epidemiologist's uh, opinions about tailor-made therapies, but experts world over cited that steroid dexamethasone as the prominent candidate in the fight against COVID-19, which has already shown promise in some coronavirus patients and pointed to the surprising discovery involving granulocytes a type of white blood cells so these granulocytes are cells that are not really known to be major players in the fight against viruses but they play a major role 
in the severe COVID-19 disease cases. So another study also suggested that the role of a patient's immune response in COVID-19 death. So let us ask the epidemiologist how as to how uh, the immune response plays a role in the death of COVID-19 patients. Yes, data shows that between 7th and 12th day, more precisely 8th to 10th day, there is something called cytokine outburst which makes a huge immune response from the body to actually combat the virus which actually makes somebody to become very breathless and at times they might need some at times they might need some oxygen or even ventilators or cpap therapy to actually make, get them out of that cytokine outburst and some of them with severe cytokine burst might get into death as well so i would say immune response definitely plays a role for those who are mild symptomatics and moderate symptomatics it gives an indication on what kind of category treatment needs to be done if somebody ignores the immune response when it is mild they might end up on to severe diseases and then might also end up in grave complications well there you heard it the doctor clearly said that the immune response system also plays a key role in the deaths of covid-19 patients well literally covid-19 has infected over 12 million people across the globe while more than 5 lakh people have succumbed to uh, the covid-19 globally whereas over 7 million people have recovered from the deadly contagion worldwide so these stats and figures should certainly send some alarm bells ringing in your mind and the only way that we can stay safe at a time when there is no vaccine or cure for COVID-19 is by following all the safety and precautionary measures which we have been emphasizing and stressing on in each of our episodes. So take all the precautionary measures and stay safe along with that keep your loved ones and even uh, your close ones safe and sound. If you like this video, please drop in your opinions in the comment section below and also like, share and subscribe to News9 on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and YouTube. Thank you for watching.